Hey, what's going on guys? I'm heading toward the research camp to try and complete the mother and daughter quest. It's one of those quests that requires you to collect a whole bunch of items like moon soul blooms and just some things that items that enemies end up dropping after you take them out and some you're gonna find throughout the wildlands. I don't think I have enough moon soul blooms though and if that's the case well then I'm definitely gonna have to come back at night to complete the quest. So this quest requires I believe four moon soul blooms or six moon soul blooms something like that. Anyways you have to speak with 13 and you have to speak with the doctor at the research camp to get the quest started. Hi! Hello there! You're Dr. Gazal's assistant, but who are you? Tilda. I'm a doctor around here. We have a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. So I was just consulting with the assistant here. He doesn't look happy. Is he injured? Something is wrong, that's for sure. We just found him. He's ever so weak. Oh, poor thing. But he'll be all right, with a vet and a doctor looking after him. Right. This clever vet was just telling me about an effective medicine that should help. I'm still just a trainee. Dr. Gazal is the clever one. I just run errands. But I'm going to help this little one get better. He'll stay with me for the first little while. Not that I know much about dogs. I usually treat people, obviously. All I need to do is have him drink the assistant's medicine. I can handle that. Good news for the dog. I'm sure he'll get better soon. Uh, he would, except... Except... Well, we're out of ingredients. To make the medicine. Yeah, that's the problem, see? And I don't believe I have enough, so I'm gonna have to come back later, unfortunately. The Moon Soul Blooms basically replace the Day Ring Blooms, but they appear at 6 p.m. Or when it says 18 on the, the clock on the right hand you. side. So yes, I'm gonna have to wait until then. So until I mean, then, I think like I'm just gonna to go complete to the, the Omega the Point mission like by that. speaking to this guy the uh, at the top of this little need. watchtower this over girl? here. She's actually more clever than she lets on. Oh no, I'm not. I still hardly know anything at all. But I do know how to help the dog. He just needs the right medicine and he'll be fine. Okay then, tell me what you need. And I should give these to Tilda, right? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much for helping out. Well, I've got to run. Dr. Kazal will be expecting me back at Canopus Farms. This place is off the beaten track. Let me tell you something. This used to be the center of civilization. It might be hard to believe, but up until a few centuries ago, this land was home to the world's largest city. Yeah, a long time ago, right? Yeah, that's right. And then the chaos came and devoured everything. Soon after, I set up camp here with my colleagues to research the dark power that swept over this land. No one's been keeping track of how long we've been out here. But it's been a while. We've been preoccupied, buried in our work. Though we've made little progress. That chocobo is the rumored angel of Valhalla, isn't he? The chocobo of legends. Now that I've seen him for myself, he does look rather regal. He's a lot more than regal. Oh, no offense. I know he's a creature of destiny, fated to lead his ordained master to the truth. So you know something about this legend? Of course. My team and I have been in this mysterious land for many years. We call this the Omega Point, the origin of the chaos that erupted and spread throughout the land over 500 years ago. It appears the source of the chaos is rumored to be hidden somewhere inside the Temple of the Goddess, out here in the Wildlands. We were sent out here to investigate the Omega Point, but because of the rocky terrain, there are still areas we haven't been able to reach. Unfortunately, the Goddess's Temple is one of them. 
But now that the Angel of Valhalla has decided to grace us with his presence... Exactly. With those wings, there's no doubt he can take you there. Many old remains have been discovered in this area. For example, do you see that over there? That's the wreckage of an airship that fell to the ground after getting sucked into the chaos. If only we could gather data from the wreckage. I'd be willing to bet it would be an enormous help to our research. It might help you solve... That's right. Every piece of the puzzle... So to complete this quest, you have to fly around with the Chocobo and find four data collection points. There are five in total. The first one is the toughest one to get to. And as you can see, I'm having some troubles doing that. If you have troubles getting this one by the research camp, you can always skip it and go for the other four. But after a few tries, you should be able to get it. Just make sure you're not wasting a lot of time. Use chronostasis if you have to. Just make sure it doesn't end up taking you two to three hours to complete. I recommend collecting these data collection points in a counterclockwise order as well. All right, so hopefully the third time is gonna be the charm on this one. Again, this is the toughest one to collect, so if you're having a if you're having problems like I am, it is good to just skip it. But I managed to get it on the third try. Is this it? So there we go, one out of four. The second one is actually located right in front of us. I'm gonna take out these little goblins right here. There we go, very easy to take out. If you have Tendara, they do give some green leather, which I think you're gonna to need to complete that mother and daughter quest. I'm not 100% sure though, but it never hurts to try. Definitely gonna avoid the Chocobo Eater right there. So the next data collection point is on this hill. You're gonna have to jump here with your Chocobo and you're gonna have to fly over to this section right here. It's on the right side of the map, so. Actually, it's just across from the research camp and it's right up there, so. Just fly over here. Move up and do one final jump and there's the data collection point. This could be one. All right, so that's two out of the four. The third one is located by that crashed airship where you met Saj and Dodge, right outside of it. So I'm gonna head there right now. Okay. As I said, going around in a counterclockwise order is probably the best way to go about this. Just get off the chocobo here. Move and take a quick left around the corner. There's and there's the third inside. one. So there's two more re remaining, but we only need to get one more to complete the quest. So let's hop back on to the angel. And let's proceed. Oh, nothing there. <laughs> fly up here and the fourth one is located towards the middle of the map right here I'm getting a signal the almost next to the working. entrance to the Looks north like I got everything I need towards the rocky crag so after that we can return to the research camp and that basically completes the quest so hope this video helped guys I'm gonna End the commentary off here, enjoy a little cutscene, and I'm off to the next one. Thanks for watching. I think I may have enough. Will this do? Excellent work. I'll analyze this information at once. 
Let's see here. This is rather unexpected. I've managed to detect what seems to be part of an audio file. Let's hear it. of some sort. Perhaps it was the unseen chaos that supposedly sealed beneath Etro's temple. Who could he have met by the woman? You don't suppose that could have been the goddess? That doesn't seem possible, but... The goddess? No, I don't think so. That would defy science. It was probably just the pilot seeing his wife's face flash before his eyes before he died. But what's that saying? Never say never. In order to produce a scientific explanation, we need to keep gathering more data. Still got a long way to go. Yes, but thanks to you, we're already a step closer. A little progress is better than no progress at all. I would say you're right. Things have been stagnant for a long, long time, as you know. That tiny bit of new information is an amazing discovery for researchers everywhere. You can't imagine the great gift you've given us all. Well... Wow. <laughs>